Okay, exercise 67. I'm going to give you one chance to answer me a question. What is the French for you are going to get fucking banned? Da 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 wab wab wab. Campers, I fucking hate them. Space. What the fuck is this guy doing? See, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, man. This is how they roll. <laughs> Fuck! Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. How you doing, guys? Um, I hope that introduction didn't offend any French people. <laughs> um, yeah, basically what it was, I played some Black Ops 1 the other day. To completely encompass the feel of the whole Treyarch when it was good vibration. And what seemed to happen was, my very first game I went into, I was kind of, you know, flicking through people's stats. I always do that. Whenever I go into a game, I have a look at the lobby leaderboard, just to sort of see what I'm up against. And also their kill-death ratio, and, you know, see if you can have a decent adversary. If you know they've all got low scores, then, sorry, low kill-death ratios, then you kind of know what you're up against. It's going to be a clean-up fest. But this time around, I was starting to notice there was a couple of guys with, like, 87 kill-death ratios. And when I say 87, like, they were kind of ranking third to fourth in the world in free-for-all. Now, I know the score per minute ranking on um, Call of Duty Black Ops 1 was brilliant. That was one of the things I loved. I think the highest ever ranked in the world was second in the world at free for all, and that that was something like on a Monday at about 12 in the afternoon, and I won every game. And <laughs> I think I went away, made a cup of tea, came back, and it was gone. So I think I went up to about seventh, eighth, and then it just progressed further and further. And that was a great thing. I do miss that. I miss that weekly ranking kind of thing. But these guys were like they had about 3,000 kills and something like 20 deaths. And I thought something's weird. You know, nobody's that good. I'm sorry, but nobody is that good. You could be the best player in the world, but you could walk into Claymores for days. The, the Call of Duty games are riddled with bullshit. But anyway, this guy was using God Mode. Now, I knew there was something fishy before I started, because I think you'll notice as this goes on, I literally pump this guy with everything I have. I bend him over, I lube him up, and he kind of does a reverse rape on me. <laughs> it's like the worst prison rape ever. I greased him up and he fucking got the better of me and manhandled me and raped me. So it was, uh, it was quite distressing from a gaming sense. And what he does, he tends to go into the middle of the map on top of the, uh, the kind of bandstand thing, or is it a bandstand or a hangman's platform? I don't know what it is. And he, he almost goads you to come and shoot at him. That's what he does. It's like an invitation. And it's not just me. Everybody else in the lobby kind of locked onto this. And we all headed over to his little party. And unfortunately, it was only him invited to the ball because we all just got blown away. I think I killed him once. I actually managed to kill him once. And his health must have been on something like about 700, 800, maybe 1,000. I don't know. Um, I don't like this, you know, I know these videos get the odd dislike here and there, which always makes me laugh, <laughs> but it's YouTube and it's the internet and people are just weird, but I've said before, look, communal hacks whenever there's one and everybody gets affected by it and it's something like a COD 4 one and people are bouncing around and springboarding through the air like Mary Poppins, I'm cool with that, you know, I'm happy with that, I can play that for about five minutes, have some fun with it, and then I don't want to go on, you know, I've got that choice to bail out and go somewhere else, because you know, if you want to stand, do that all day, that's fine, that's up to you. For me, I, I don't know, maybe I'm a bit too grown up for that. A little bit of fun here and there with that kind of thing, and then it's on to more serious, uh, serious gaming. But this kind of thing I don't like, because it's using it to his advantage, and he just, he has no mercy. He has no mercy, and he has no morals. So, I'm going to put his, uh, his game tag in the description, you can see it on your screen. Guys, you know what to do, in the words of the mighty old Presador, you know what to do. Get over, file a complaint, tweet the shit out of this thing, and get this guy banned. Because one thing I always do, I give people a chance. You know, I invite them to private chat, and I give them a chance to explain themselves. I tell them what I might do, and if they say that they won't do it again, <laughs> kind of like a teacher, then I'll pull the plug. And I'm pissed now, so do the right thing, guys. Apocalypse done. Always raging, then they get to fussing. Yes. They always rage quit, uh, and then they start cussing. Okay. I'm trolling online, but I ain't saying nothing. Uh, Cause if I'm in your game, then I'm boosting, <laughs> okay. busting.